I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Dong and Rumpa 2 Goodbye Despair. You guys hit 50,000 likes on the last episode, and I told you guys that I was so heartbroken that Biakuya died, and I wanted you guys to like the video to tell me that it's gonna get better. I really hope it does. But you know what? I trust you guys. I know this game is gonna get better. I just really cared about that character, but we're about to figure out who killed him right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! All right, there's Biakuya under the table. Before I talk to anybody else, let me investigate that real quick let's get our ultimate detective skills on under this very table biakuya was first i should investigate the top of the table though the only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is this desk lamp it looks like an antique lamp and it seems rather heavy the power cord was connected to the outlet so it would have been useless during the blackout other than that there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me so now's not the time for me to flinch I gotta do it! I let out a shout as if to encourage myself and quickly look beneath the table. Damn, thick Akuya. Immediately, I noticed an unexplainable smell like rusted iron hanging in the air. Enduring the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze toward Biakuya's body. Biakuya Tagami, the ultimate orphan. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things, but he tried his best to lead everyone. Why? Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now, for Biakuya's sake is to uncover the truth behind his death. I bet you Nagito is gonna be suspect number one because a knife was missing inside the kitchen and he was the guy cleaning up this whole place. Hmm, what is this? It looks like binoculars, but it's night vision goggles, dog. Why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Hey, Hajime, those aren't binoculars. Eh, then what are they? Perhaps those are probably night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits, too. If that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Biakuya during the blackout? Ding, ding, ding. Oh, night vision goggles has been added to the... Ch -ch -ch blah, 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 blah! Okay, let's look at Biakuya's body. Actually, let's look at the knife with the end of his life. Ooh, a bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed Biakuya? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Biakuya thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that aluminum case. It's possible they stole this knife from the case. Or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Knife has been added to the da. You know what? Taro Taro might have hit the knife in his ass and then pulled it out and shanked Biakuya. Huh? Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? Oh, so the knife was placed under the table. They cut the lights, put on the night vision goggles, did a little slap, 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 and then Thick Akuya just died. There seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Glowing paint added to the... Blah, 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 blah. The body is collapsed face down under the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something. It looks like he was... According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? I mean, somebody did. Okay, so it's been added to the... Ch -ch -ch target acquired. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, let's back out of here real quick. I can't say I've done enough investigating. Oh, my bad. My bad, G! Okay, what else do we got? His hand. I guess we can give Thikakuya a hand. The body's collapsed face down. We saw that. Um, I'm pretty sure I've investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Biakuya's death. Okay, let me talk to her because she took a picture. She took a couple pictures before the lights went out. Mahiru, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute Biakui is alive and well, and in an instant, something awful suddenly happens. Of course I'm not fine. Why? And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. That we have to find out who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If... If I only acted calmer during the blackout, Biakuya might still be alive. This is the worst. This whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Ah, jeez. Oh, 
Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Got it. Hey, Hajime, forget about what I just said. Got it? Yeah, that's fine. I got it. Hmm. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. A clue? Hey. Photos. The one I took just before the blackout, remember? Yeah, there we go. Let's check it out. Hey, Bikuya, everyone, come on. I'm going to take a picture. All right, say cheese. Yep. I think she took like one or two or three. Oh, yeah, the pictures. Hmm. Want to see them? I have a digital camera so I can show them to you right now. Really? Please. Let's see, it's this photo. Okay, um, everybody kinda looks good. Nagito is the only one with no drink in his hand. And that table back there isn't looking that sus for now. My guy gotta take a fat old shit too. All right, let's see this one. Hamster guy doing a weird little pose. Akane is eating, she going ham on that ham. Biakui standing there by herself. That girl that's always super clumsy looking sus. And yeah, everything's pretty good. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but Huh? Is something wrong? Hmm. I didn't realize it till just now, but right before the blackout, Biakuya was standing in a totally different place than where we found him. <gasps> That's right. Wasn't his body under the table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Yeah, that's right. Prior to that, Biakuya was standing along the wall farthest away from that table. You're right. That's pretty far. There's something. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everybody's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. Hmm. But would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me. Got it. Then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. All right, now that that's decided, you better, do your you better work harder in your investigation too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? Okay, am I the only one investigating this case? It's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down. Alright, let me talk to Hamster Boy. Oh, Hellhound Earring, answer my call! Impossible! <sighs> Is this effort futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? You! It is not a mere earring, it is the Hellhound Earring! Fine. Long ago, in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Well, this is certainly random. The Hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood, and its drenched blood-red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed that diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. Shiver. The Hellhound earring. So that I may never forget the night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian, I wear that earring at all times. Was that really about a freaking Pomeranian? Hey, don't be hating on Pomeranians! I understand it's important to you, but for now, we need to investigate. I won't Where is it? You. Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor? The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's transpired. Such a clever little bobble. Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked toward the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor and peered beneath the floorboards. I can see it. Ah, there it is. I have found it, truly. That is the Hellhound Earring. <laughs> <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see, good for you. Let me ask. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up? What? Give up what? The world? I meant give up the earring. You. Oh, have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. If you rich, but even you with all those die. layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? Fine. It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something about it on my own. Now if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. He wants that earring back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. But it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. Oh, the floorboard has been added to the scratch. -ta -ta -ta? Okay, well, let's look at this open box. Ah, this is the metal case Biakui had with him. I believe he said it was made of duraluminum. The last time I saw it, it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things in this case, like a nightstick and pepper spray. Huh? What's this? A hard plastic case, but it's just a case. The inside is empty. I wonder what was inside. The night vision goggles, my dog. But the one thing that really catches my attention is this small key. 
It must be the key to the other Duraluminum case. That other case was in the office, and all the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to that case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Biakuya was taken from that case. Which means the weapons inside the case aren't related to Biakuya's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Biakuya have this case in the first place? A case packed with all this security equipment. Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case? No, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful. Okay, the case has been added to the- Ninja stars, guys. Throw ninja stars, that's what it is. Let's talk to her. I must- I must investigate my classmate's body. Yes, I'm the one who has medical knowledge. That's why I need to do it- to do it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? You're right, I need to calm down first. I'm careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious from how you felt earlier. I'm terribly sorry about that for showing you something so unsightly. Yeah, you made me remember it again. Oh, come on, man. No, come on! Gotta censor this again? I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Well, I guess I started by the blackout, slipped up on the carpet, and once I started struggling to get back up... <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Please, please erase it from your memory. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. Sorry. Oh, I can't stand it. Okay, dude, why they gotta show that again, bruh? Alright, can I get out of here? I can't get out of here yet. There's still other things I need to investigate. Like... Like what? Like this? A remote-controlled air conditioner. Huh? Air conditioner? Could it be? Hey, all of you. Why can't you act a little more grown up? Huh? What was that sound just now? Oh, but how can the air conditioner do that? The air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. And the air conditioner's remote control, the timer is set to 11.30 p.m. I'm pretty sure Biakuya's time of death was around the same time. 86 degrees? God damn, that was hot as hell in there. If so, that means that mechanical sound before the blackout, it probably came from this air conditioner. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. Okay, air conditioner has been added to the... That's a gun with a silencer on it, my dudes. Okay, what else? What else we got? Uh, can I back out? Can't get out of here yet? Okay, how about the food? Such a huge table. There's nothing much out of the ordinary. Okay. Oh, I know what. The TV right here. Manakuma contacts us through these monitors. I really want to break it, but who knows what would happen if I did that. I guess I gotta leave it alone. Oh, the lamp? The only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is the lamp. Okay, never mind. Do I talk to Nagito again? Hey, hey, Hajime, there's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Biakuya was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. And if Biakuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Well, now that you mention it, but why was Biakui's body under the table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out exactly what happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. Although, if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something? Are you talking about her? Now then, where else should I investigate? Hajime. Uh, Hajime. A moment? Huh? What is it? Hey. When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer. It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> huh? You're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. We both harbor special feelings toward Hope's Peak Academy, isn't that right? Well, yeah, but... Fine, if we're gonna go together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. Thanks. I'm glad. It'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. Yeah, you a fuck boy. Yeah. I guess, for now, we should search the inside of this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall, I think we should consider this whole building the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout the entire building. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I think I know what to do. 
Um, let's go to the kitchen first because that's where the naifu was. That's the storage room. I guess we could check that out first because that's where the other case is. Maybe we can unlock it and see what items are in there. Anybody in here? Just Nagito, huh? The storage room is really dusty and dark. Wow. My hands were full cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Okay, what are we gonna investigate? All these things, bro? Huh? Are these irons? It looks like they were recently turned on. But why are there three irons on this ironing board? Just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Biakuya after the blackout, I also found these irons, but... When I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Oh, so it can cause the blackout because too much power. Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off. But doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister. Okay, the irons have been added to the... There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps... Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth? Wait, huh? Hold on, there's something on it. Is this a blood stain? Huh? Uh, blood stain? Come here, take a closer look. But it's too dark. I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a blood stain. Which means this tablecloth is connected to Viakui's murder, right? If that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain. Bloodstain has been added to the ch boom ch ch boom ch ch boom There's an awful lot of boxes. We don't have time to go through each and every one of them. I guess I should leave them alone. Yep. A wise decision. Okay, Yandere Hajime. Simulator. Hey, Hajime, how much longer are you going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already. Oh, I get it. You're right. <laughs> this dude said a wise decision. My bad. This dude been playing Yandere in his spare time. Okay, Nagito, I see you, my guy. Should we talk to Sonya? Nah, never mind. I'm kidding. That was a bad joke. Let's go to the kitchen. Where is the kitchen? Can we go to the toilet? Huh? It's locked. Someone appears to be inside. Since it's a unisex bathroom, I don't know who's actually in there. Hey! Hey, someone in there? We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... There's no response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I thought it was that one dude taking the fattest chimichanga shit in the world. Where is the kitchen? Wait, why is this open? Was that always open? Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it was always open. Where's the kitchen? We gotta talk to that Taro Taro guy. I'm very sus of him. There he is. He's right over here. Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Taro Taro? <laughs> that blackout totally startled me. At first, I thought it was just in the kitchen. But when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. And then, I heard everybody's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. But that place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. Ah, no, no. that's impossible. This gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. I see, then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figure you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but I guess it's not that easy. Taro Taro's account has been added to the ch ch pew pew pew. Ah, pew pew ah, pew 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 Can we check this? Biakuya must have confiscated all the dangerous items. Well, just from reading through this list, it looks like the knife next to Biakuya's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Biakuya's body check? Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat-downs. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Hey. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I agree. Okay, so that's been added to the scratta ta 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 Nagita, let's get going. You're right. Yeah, sure thing. Okay, let's get out of here. Do I need to talk to every single student? I hope not, man. I hope I only need to talk to the people that actually matter. Let me see what Sonya has to say. Um, um there's something I want to ask you. Huh? What is it? It is strange. It appears no? that only the wall is a different color and material. Why is that? Perhaps. Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? Huh? You've never seen one before? It's a door that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? Wow. I see. 
It is like a barrier, just like a lining up plastic bottles around the house. That's only done to keep cats from getting in. <laughs> you know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? I am ashamed. Truly, I am culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Fire door has been added to the truth bullets. What? Even this? Dude, everything's been added to the truth bullets. Apparently, a great man once said investigation should be done on foot. Yes. So, that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, if there's one reason, then there's no meaning. Hey. Hey, Hajime, I just realized something. Could she, by any chance, know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. No, I wasn't. Huh? How did you know? <laughs> so, you did hear us. Even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to Ibuki. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Huh? <laughs> la 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 la. I'll heartily eat it for breakfast. I see. Oh, you mean like it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. I've never had it with gravy. She should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, can you tell us what you heard? I got it! Leave it to me. I'm going to take a bite out of you. Yep. If you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. Hey, hey, hey. Chill, 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 chill. Aww. Let's see. The first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... That's right. It was Mahiru. It's a blackout. Next was Kazuichi's voice, and then the next next voice was hey, mine. I can't see anything. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> what a nice remark I made. It's to the point, and it has its own unique charm. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Uh, everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! Say, ow. I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Wait... Let me see something real quick. Um... Hold on. Where is it? Uh, truth bullets. No, dude. I need to go to the truth bullets. Okay, let me check out the truth bullets. What did Teru Teru say? What was his account? The gas stove in the kitchen is powered by electricity. That's why Teru Teru couldn't use it during a blackout. So he was in the kitchen during the blackout? Then how did he make his way into the other room? Like, how did he make his way into the dining hall? Because the fire doors would have closed, right? So Teru Teru was in the kitchen, and then he put on the goggles, made his way, and then slash gas, cut a hole in Thikakuya's ass. Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something Am I onto something? It. Am I on to greatness? I might be on to greatness. <laughs> Alrighties, that's pretty much it. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me, give me lots of praise. I'm trying to think about the whole scenario in my mind, what I just said. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagito, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Biakuya said during the blackout. What Biakuya said? Hey. Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? And this is... What do you mean? About that, why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Yep. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yes! Then praise me! Let me bite ya! Ouch! Why are you really biting me? Okay, that's actually a very important account right there. That's actually the MVP of accounts. Because if the blackout started, this door would close, right? And then Teru Teru would be trapped in the kitchen, and then there'd be no way that he could go into the dining hall. Let me talk to him one more time. Let me see exactly where he was during the blackout. Seriously, that blackout totally startled me. At first, I thought it was just in the kitchen. Wow. But when I finally managed to get out the kitchen, this dude. Hey, I know this is the first case, and the first case is usually the easiest, but we just nailed that, bro. Bro, we just nailed this fool. He's on borrowed time. Like, where else do we need to go? I already know what it do. Teru Teru. Okay, let's go outside. Let's see who's outside. There's no way I can leave this old building yet. I should keep looking around. Oh, my bad. I figured out who it was. 
Like, look, the blackout happened. He was in the kitchen. These doors closed. There'd be no way he could make it in here. Even if it wasn't closed, like these doors didn't close, how could he have seen in pitch darkness all the way from there to here, right? There'd be no way. Oh, we can go inside this office right here. Okay, this is probably the last place that we gotta check. The old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. Okay. This remote control is for the office's air conditioner. Huh? The timer here is set to 11.30 p.m. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? It can't be a coincidence, right? It's definitely not a coincidence. This was all planned, my guy. Maybe. Hey, isn't Pico the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Biakuya after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but when I got here, she was gone. Well... I shouldn't say this too loudly, or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Hmm. Pico's probably the only one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Biakuya. Hey. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. Okay, we got his account, but I don't think it's right. I'm dead set on thinking that it's Teru Teru. I can already tell you doubt me, correct? Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Biakuya was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker is in the office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait! Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I see. So I was right. You weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the Durlam case with all the weapons in it? Huh? So, where'd you run off to on your own? Well... Well, that is... Ugh! Ugh! She probably had to take a shit too. Pico suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? No, I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me? What was that? Hey. Pico, it appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so... I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? Ugh, it seems like it will be a tough path. Oh, you know what? Maybe Teru Teru spiked the food with something and gave everybody bubble guts. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pico wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? Huh, it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pico as it is. Huh, what does that mean? Huh? I mean, is it cool? She didn't, like, run away or something? That's right! Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Huh, is that really what it is? No, it's not. And there's a Monokuma doll inside here. Give me that thing, boy! And we leveled up! All right, let me check out this case. Let's open it up. This case. It should contain all the dangerous items Biakuya collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside just to be safe? But it's locked. Yep. Biakuya had the key to this particular Durlum case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me so there's no need to worry. Cha-ching, baby! Come on. Open it up! See? See? It's open. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here. Because the key to this case was inside the case Biakui had with him. I guess you're right about that. Okay. I guess I should look around for a bit. Really? What else do we got? Oh, wait. What's that? That must be the old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. I see. Huh. It doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a stepladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that, but... You're right. Even with a stepladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout, but who? I did it! Whoa, Whoa it's here! Actually... You idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. Ah, oh, by the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, well, firstly, um... my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, my body stretches. You know, I'm very elastic. <laughs> Is that something we want to know? I Liar! It's I'm really... serious. Want to see? Want to see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. No, thanks. Just imagining it makes me want to puke. 
Oh, really? Such a shame. So Still, cool. don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place. I see. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker? Well, in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it or set it to be tripped... The irons, dude! Now then. now then, I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. Okay, I think the only place to go is outside, or if somebody's inside of the bathroom. Yep. Okay, looks like you pretty much finished looking around the old building. Hey. So how about we check out Biakui's cottage? Biakui's cottage? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be good to check it out just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but... Aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be that danger? Hey. You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. As I thought, you sure are strong. You are definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope Speak Academy. Alright. Alright, then let's get going. To be a Kui's cottage. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. Just smile, dude. That's what I usually do. The moment I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. Oh, they're trying to get his earring. Hey, what are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, I don't have any water. I can't take a water break. That is truly a foolish question. Um, we're just checking. Guess I just gotta lick my lips. Under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? <laughs> How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. So I thought it was important to check it. What, so the killer left from under the floorboards? Like a secret trap door or something? I see. Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Biakui's body, right? And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then, is it possible that the killer killed Biakui by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Oh, crap. I didn't even think about that. That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well? Huh, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. But... Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Wow. No, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems you can't get under the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. Relief? Why? Hmm. Because if you could get under the floor from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. All right, Fuyuhiko. Mm. I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well? Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. Huh? He did? Huh? Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Oh, hey, what are you doing here? All alone at a place like this? Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. Eh, how diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no, not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They made me want to puke. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course not. I was just going for a damn walk. What? Do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a freaking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... <laughs> then leave me alone. <laughs> and then he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Huh? When did we start talking about video games? Chiaki's account has been added to the check it, check it, check it, check it. I see. Even though we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. I do. Ask me. <laughs> well, I guess for now, we should stick to the plan and head over to Biakui's cottage. <laughs> as long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I, I will most assuredly reclaim the Hellhound my earring with my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigating. 
Okay, let's go to Beakui's cottage. I'm pretty damn sure that I know who it is. Should I talk to Fuihiko? We might as well, right? Huh? What the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Did you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course I did. Apparently, Biakui is the one who got killed. <laughs> so what? What did you say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm... Whatever. Just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Huh? huh? Check my alibi, eh? <laughs> well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Shiaki said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! <laughs> Nosy bitch! Jeez. It's true I went for a little walk, and then, just by chance, I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with Why me. the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence! A coincidence! Alright, I got it. <laughs> huh, dumbass. Alright, thanks, man. Thanks for calling me a dumbass. Appreciate that. So let's see where Thikakuya's cottage is. There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> I miss you! Huh? It's locked. Hey. I guess we need to ask him for help. And so Nagito took a deep breath. Hey! Hey, Monokuma! Did you call me? Yay! Did you call me? Nagito, what did you. Nagito, when did you train Monokuma? Hey. Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you can do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my afterimage. <laughs> <laughs> when I get serious, my afterimage is unleashed. What? I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. So it'd be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Biakui's cottage already. Well, this is for the class trial. It's something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial? This is huh, if it's for problem. the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Va -va -va yeah, va -va loose, okay? I'll leave the rest See, of I've unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Why does it open with a magic spell? Jeez. It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see. I guess we should go inside then. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. What would investigating his cottage have anything to do with his murder? Wait, wait, there's something on the table. There's an envelope on the table. It's a letter someone sent to be a queen? That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty sus. Hajime. Hajime, you should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Huh? Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. This is... This is... Is this a crime warning? No, if it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe... Hey. This is why Biakui suddenly decided to throw a party. Huh? The first kill will happen tonight because someone made the threat to Biakuya. He gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So, he believed this crazy letter? He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Hey. Remember what Biakuya kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise? Then why did he keep it a secret if he had just told us? Nope. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? If everyone knew what was in the letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other and at that point there'd be no turning back. So Biakuya tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone? Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, whoever sent Biakuya this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this could be a prank, and it might have nothing to do with Biakuya's death at all. Huh, what was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see, he doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. But still, we've come all this way here and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Biakuya. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Biakuya would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Biakuya and killed him right before our eyes, in that old building. Damn it! Who the hell would do that? Okay, so the murder threat has been added to the secret. Hey. Hajime, there's probably not much time left until the class trial. Probably. <laughs> ah, which reminds me, you asked Mahiro for a favor earlier, right? 
Yeah, I wanted her to find out where everybody was standing just before the blackout. She's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry. Sorry, that's all you. Huh? I need some time alone. I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. I see. I understand. Hey. Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Mikon has to say as well. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now. I'll see you later. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. But that's not the time to worry about Nagito. There isn't much time left. I better hurry over to the next building. I mean, he always looking pale. This shit ain't brand new. Why is everybody acting so brand new when it comes to people looking pale? What the? <laughs> I mean, you read my mind exactly, Hajime. What the hell was that loud voice just now? That was, um, Gundam. I think he found his earring. No, it's this guy. I feel so lighthearted right now. I, Nekomaru Nadai, have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? I won't lose to anyone. Not even to my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? Shit! What? God, I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now that you mention it, you said something like that shortly after the party started. I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all! Jeez. However, if you think I'd be angered by something like that, you've all underestimated my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by that whole ordeal. Oh well, best not to go into it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the party started to after the blackout? So what I mean and is... the bathroom was finally occupied after Biakui's body was found. That's probably how long that lasted. What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty confusing. But wait, if he's out of there, then that means the bathroom is no longer closed. Hmm, the bathroom seems to be open, but I don't really need to go right now. There's really no need for me to go inside. Oh, oh okay. Well, let's go in here because we need to check the autopsy and we need to check the positioning of everybody once the blackout happened. So, we'll talk to you first. Hey! Hey, you're here! Where the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wandering, I was investigating as much as I could. <laughs> I see. Well, if you weren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. So, did you find anything? Hmm. Yeah, sorta. You don't sound too sure. Hey! Well, just take a look at this. Um... Just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout, I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. When I did, this diagram was the result. Oh god, really? So this is everyone's standing position before the blackout. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. Except Teru. Teru! Look at him! He's all by himself! Well, it says question mark. But then he found his way into the dining hall after the blackout. How could he have gotten there, though, if the fire door was closed behind him? He's the killer. He is the killer! Bro, I don't need any more information. I know who the killer is. And nobody's gonna change my mind. So did you find something? Uh, it's not clear to me yet, but... I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? Huh? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden there. Yeah, we know that. How about the autopsy? Um, um, if you'd like, I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? Um, I tried within reason to perform an autopsy on Biakui's body. And I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Biakui's chest and abdominal region. Deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. God damn! It can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around 5 millimeters in diameter was used to stab him over and over again, which is what I believe. <laughs> hey, are you okay? I'm sorry, talking about it made me sad. No need to push yourself. I mostly got the gist of what you wanted to say. Oh, I'm sorry. Still, around 5 millimeters in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick or an awl. Okay, that's very important though. That's a very important clue. Ding dong bing bong, baby! Yeah! My favorite. My favorite right, ding dongs guys. and bing bongs. It's finally time! Yes. That's right! Are you ready, guys? I know exactly who it is. Trial. I mean, I'm like 99% well, sure. Then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. I'm excited to see where the trials start. At the central or like, where the trials take place. Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. Nice. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. 
Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. All right, cool. I'm ready for this. A mountain with a carving of Monokuma's face at the central island. All right, guys, I'm going to end this episode here, but I am 99% sure that I know exactly who did it. 50,000 likes, and we are going to do the first class trial of Danganronpa 2. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.